Hello everyone, this is Walkis with Mobile Centrix. I'd like to talk to you about um, a new lineup that we just brought up to the Mobile Centrix site is the Incel LCDs. Incel LCDs will right now be currently uh, like available from the iPhone 6s all the way up to the 8 plus. The technology for TFT is will be the cover glass, the um, digitizer, the OCA, the polarizer, and the LCM panel. All fused into one with a backlight and force touch steel plate behind it. Um, what Incel was is that they took the digitizer and fused it with the LCD panel. Meaning it's just cover glass, OCA, polarizer, LCD panel that's fused in with the di digitizer into it. Then be behind it being backlight, force touch, steel plate. Um, what they did was they made the technology much more slim and causing it to where the LCD sits much closer to the cover glass. Um, that would do is that you won't see the LCD kind of drop because there's going to be a digitizer layer like ahead of all that. Onso was just an intermediate kind of stepping stone to go into Incel. Onso was still, it would be cover glass OCA polarizer. And then there would be a digitizer layer that sits right on top of the LCM panel. The biggest downfall for Oncel is that as those two layers are on, sitting on top of each other, if those conductivity, if one of the layers is accidentally touches the other, uh, the vertical layer touches the horizontal layer, it will cause ghost touching. Oncel is not a technology that we recommend and it's actually a very weak technology that China's still trying to, imp imp to improve on. Um, Incel, to be honest, is going to be the future for China, for mobile, mobile sen 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 centric, and pretty much throughout the industry. Um, however, the, one of the main reasons why we feel that Incel will be the future is, one, it's the most closest to OEM as you can get. Second thing is that, hey, as the technology for Incel gets better and better, the cost of the raw material will be cheaper. One, because there's no digitizer layer, there's no TP flex, there's no... Uh, so many extra layers that get involved on making a TFT panel comparative to Incel. One of the things that you might see on an Oncel LCD would be that one of the flexes might say Oncel right onto it. Second thing is that, hey, if you kind of peel off the lens tape or anything like that, and you kind of reflect the LCM panel, and you look very hard on the black screen as the screen's off. With turning it on, it's very almost next to impossible to see it, but as the screen's off, you should be able to see faint grid lines on it. Now, it's still a plastic layer, so it's going to be very faint, but you still can see it. Um, and one of the outcomes of it is like, hey, if you've seen bought in cell from other people and you haven't been able to see the grid grid lines on but you've seen ghost touching ghost touching is next to impossible for in cell tech technology that's one of the primary reasons that um apple or some of the oems never chose the in cell or the on cell tech technology even though it's a much cheaper layer um on in cell ghost touching should be bare to none um if i compare the colors or anything like that i can see like hey the definition, the colors, the color accuracy, is everything close to as OEM as possible. So I know that the video is going to have a very much harder time to catch some of the finer details on it. But as I can see that, hey, this being an OEM screen, this being an Incel screen, it's almost, I can say, is almost 100% same. There's going to be very faint differences or anything along those lines as far as color, color accuracy, almost 100%. The, as you're getting the Incel LCD panels, you'll see that they all come with the steel plate pre-installed. There's the camera bracket, the earpiece mesh, the proximity bracket. Um, there's also some more small features that we did add on, like the, um, the, the, the heat shield right on the cover glass over here. There's the secondary heat shield that goes right underneath the frame so it doesn't make sure that the front cover glass doesn't get hot. Um, we've also ensured, now I'm going to show you for you though, under, inside the camera hole, there's this cushion that gets added to every camera ring. What this does is it prevents the front camera from knocking against the front cover glass. 
Um, and inside the ring, you'll see that, hey, all these panels, the there's been, it's been um, electroplate coated the cover glass. So when the front camera snaps a picture, the lens flare doesn't re reflect back right from the cover glass itself or darken it or whiten it or something like that. Um, so we've ensured and making the cover glass a little bit stronger than what it currently the market standard is. Is it still uh, corning or anything al along those lines? No, but there is a way to strengthen the cover glass by tempering it a little bit for a longer period of time. Compared to the market tempering it for three hours, we temper our glass for eight hours. Um, so Incel is, like I said, we're working on to improve all the small things to get it to the colors to be as perfect to what everyone's looking for. Another popular question that pe that individuals will ask is, hey, does the LCD uh, compose a structure of real 3D or fake 3D? Um, for the Intel technology, it, it, it has, it is fake 3D, it's all software based. It's pretty much the same thing as iOS 13 and Ford anyways has gotten rid of the, the real 3D capabilities. Um, and just went to the software touch and everything like that. So in summary, Incel is the future. It's just not the future of um, of us, but throughout the industry, Incel will take over the market. And it is the future what we are really focused on. Um, do I feel that comparative to XO5, AQ5, or any TFT panel, where does Incel stand? Incel, I feel like, hey, color-wise, or as far as the touch panel is going to be much better than TFT. Stability of the software is where I feel like hey, TFT panels, which include AQ5, XO5, or any other brands, are going to be a little bit more stable than the Incel technology. Incel, like I said, is still fairly new. China's still working. Every day they're finding bugs, they're finding ways to make it and like prove it, which is a great sign for the industry as we will get to a point that we can say, hey, it's very near or next to OEMs. So over, hopefully within the next few weeks, we can get some feedback from ev everyone and seeing how we can improve Incel as a group compared to just mobile centrics focused on it. Thank you.